formation of company earlier companies were granted rights by royal charter but now a company may be incorporated by either a special act of the legislature or under the companies act 2013 accordingly an incorporated company may be either chartered company statutory company or registered company section 3 of the act deals with the registered companies forms of companies the companies are broadly classified into categories shown below in the figure definitions of many of these are already covered under chapter 1 of this module kinds of company company incorporated companies and unincorporated companies on in under incorporated companies on the basis of mode of registration under mode of registration it may be registered company statutory company chartered company under the registered companies there can be on the basis of liability first limited by shares second limited by guarantee and third limit unlimited first limited by shares under this two types public and private limited by guarantee with capital without capital under with capital public and private and under without capital public and private unlimited company with capital is uh, public or private unlimited company without capital is public or private sub section 1 to section 3 provides that for lawful purposes by subscribing their name to memorandum and complying with requirements of this act a public company may be formed by seven or more persons a private company may be formed by two or more persons a one person company may be formed by one person further sub section 2 to section 3 provides that company formed as specified above may be incorporated either as companies limited by shares companies limited by guarantees and unlimited company unlimited liability company note a limited liability company may be company limited by guarantee as well as shares specified ifsc public or specified ifsc private company shall be formed only as a company limited by share ifsc company means a company licensed to set up business in any international financial services center in india like in gujarat international finance tech city one person company the company act 2013 for the first time allow the formation of company by just one person with limited liability called one person company such a company is described as a private company under section 31c further section 31 along with rule 3 and 4 of the companies rule 2014 provides certain provision specifically applicable in case of one person company listed below who can form one person company only a natural person other than minor who is a citizen of india and whether resident in india or otherwise shall be eligible to incorporate a one person company resident in india means a person who has stayed in india for a period of not less than 120 days during the immediately preceding financial year opc can't be incorporated or converted into a company under section 8 of the act further opc can't carry out non banking financial investments activities including investment in security of any bond corporate indicate name and consent nominee the memorandum of one person company shall also indicate the name of the natural person other than minor who is an indian citizen whether resident in india or otherwise along with his prior consent written consent in the form number inc3 who shall in the event of the subscriber's death or his incapacity to contract become the member of company note this provision is to ensure perpetual succession of legal existence of opc mrs madhu form an opc where mr sudan is nominee as his name is specified in moa along with his consent mrs madhu declared insolvent pending to discharge insolvency she became incompetent incompetent to contract hence mr sudan became the member of such opc 
the name of such nominated person in form number INC 32 SPICE along with consent of each nominee obtained in form number INC 3 and fees as provided in the company rule 2014 shall be filed with the registrar at the time of incorporation of company along with the, its memorandum and article note. A natural person shall not be member of more than a one-person company at any point of time and the said person shall not be a nominee of more than a one-person company. Where a natural person being member in one-person company is accordance with his rule become a member in another such company by virtue of his being a nominee in that one-person company, such person shall meet the above specified criteria can be member of only one OPC within a period of 180 days. Withdraw of consent by nominee. Such other person may withdraw his consent by giving a notice in writing to such sole member and to the OPC company. In this case, the sole member shall nominate another person as nominee within 15 days of the receipt of the notice of withdrawal and shall send an intimation of such nomination in writing to the company along with the written consent of such other person so nominated in form number INC3. Note. Distinct name of such other nominee or and another person specified in memorandum any change any such change in the name of the person shall not be deemed to be an alteration of memorandum replacing of nominee uh, with another one the member may change the name of the person nominated by him at any time for any reason including in case of death or incapacity to contract of nominee and nominate another person after obtaining the prior consent of such another person in form number INC3. Members can do so by intimation in writing to the company. This is not specified either in Act or Rules whether the intimation shall be prior to make changes or can be uh, made afterward. But if we consider reasonable construction, the intimation shall be prior intimation. Any such changes in the name of person shall not be deemed to be an alteration of memorandum. Any such change in the name of the person shall not be deemed to be alteration of the memorandum. Example, Rajesh has formed a one-person company wherein his wife Rupali is named as nominee. For the last two years, his wife Rupali is suffering from terminal illness and due to this hard fact, he wants to change her as nominee. He has a trusted and experienced friend Ramani Vasan who could be made nominee or his son Raj, uh, Rajesh's son Raksha who is of 17 years of age. In the instant, case Rajesh can appoint his friend Ram Nivas as nominee in his OPC and not Rakshak because Rakshak is a minor. When nominee become member, where the sole member ceases to be the member or nominee become new member, then such new member shall nominate within 15 days of becoming member. A person who shall in the event of his death or his incapacity to contract become the member of such company. Notice of change to registrar. In all the three cases of change discussed above, the company within 30 days of receipt of notice of withdrawal of consent by nominee, intimation of change of nominee from member or cessation shall file the notice with the Registrar of such withdrawal of consent, change or cessation <laughs> respectively and intimate the name of such another in form number INC4 along with the fees as provided in the company's rule 2014 along with the prior written consent of such another person so nominated in form number INC3. Note all the notices and intimation required above shall be in written only whether specified from a provided or otherwise. Illustration. True or false. Even a non-resident Indian can form and become member of OPC. True. 
Rule 3 1 of the Company Rule 2014. Only a natural person other than minor who is an Indian citizen, whether resident in India or otherwise, shall be eligible to incorporate a one person company. Additional reading Relaxation available to an OPC includes not required to prepare a cash flow statement with effect of Section 240. The annual returns to furnished under Section 92 can be signed by the director and not necessarily a company secretary. Even a bricked annual return may be prescribed. Further, following the similar line, Section 134 provides it would suffice if one uh, director signs the audit financial statement and a bricked form of director report may be prescribed. Holding annual general meeting as required under Section 96 is not necessary in case of OPC. Moreover, certain specific provisions related to general meeting and extraordinary general meetings specified under Section 100 to 111 not applicable to OPC. Even relaxation is also there in conveying board meetings. Section 173 requires an OPC to hold only one meeting of the board, board of director in each half of a calendar year. With Section 137, the OPC are allowed to file financial statement within six months from the close of the financial year as against 30 days. Members severely liable in certain cases, that is, reduction in minimum membership. Members may have limited or unlimited liability depending upon nature of company. Generally, members are jointly liable for the debt of company, but they shall be severally liable for the payment of the debt of the company and may, may be severally sued, therefore, if at any time the number of members of a company is reduced below 7 and 2 in case of public and private company respectively, and such company carries on business for more than six months with reduced number of members, and every such person who carries on business after those six months is cognizant or aware of the fact that business is carried reduced members. Such members are liable for the payment of the whole debt of the company contracted during that time. Example. Amar Akbar and Anthony along with five of their friends were members of Harmony Limited. Amar and Akbar died on 18th August 2022. Resultantly, members count reduced to six and everyone aware about it. Harmony Limited continued its operation without increasing members. In March 2023, company took loan from business operations and defaulted in payment thereof. The lender of such loan can sue company or Anthony or any of the rest of five friends because members shall severely liable for said loan in given case. Illustration True False Members who knowingly operate the company for more than six months with less than the minimum number of members specified in Section 3 are severely liable for the payment of all debts contracted by the company during the period since the number of members was first reduced. False. Refer to Section 3A of the Act. Such members are liable severally for the payment of the whole debt of the company contracted during that time after elapse of six months.